This segment of USF Basketball Run with the Bulls is brought to you by AT&T. AT&T is a proud sponsor of USF Athletics. Switch to AT&T Wireless and DirecTV today and stay connected all season long. AT&T, entertainment your way. From Philadelphia, you're watching the American Conference on ESPN. We're nestled inside McGonagall Hall, where two NCAA tournament teams from last year square off as the USF Bulls take on the Temple Owls. A chilly Pennsylvania wind greeted the Bulls as they arrived in the city of brotherly love. And while many things are different on the road, the most important things remain constant. Things like team, camaraderie, leadership. Jose Fernandez really challenged his team at the Dodd Conference. Six top 100 wins. They, they beat Dayton, St. John's, Washington State, and Butler. And this is one of the most dynamic rosters in the American. USF controls of the road. Green uniforms with Flores running the point. We're underway tonight in Philly. It's an early lots go three, and she delivers. A nice early start for her. Yes, we're sitting with a pull up. Henshaw will take Perry. She's the reigning freshman of the year in the American Conference. Just a blue collar athlete. One of those hard working, nitty gritty players. Terms that can be used to describe almost any player or coach at USF. And more importantly, terms to describe the program that Coach Fernandez continues to build. Ferreira has bounced back strong from her medical red shirt while point guard Laya Flores directed an offense that was finding its strengths and building upon them. Lox's name was heard early and often on this night as patience and the extra pass was helping USF find the open shooter in the early lead. Lotska drinks her fourth three. She is perfect from three-point landing. Very hard to keep up with South Florida if it's going to be a three-point competition. You mentioned South Florida's Morales. Five straight 20-win seasons under Fernandez's his coaching staff. He's in his 18th year. Three straight NCAA trips as well. Flores! Coming out of foul for Lyle Flores, the senior. What a drive. Flores, extra pass. Blackman off the bench from three. See how unselfish South Florida is in transit. Two no-look passes leading to another three. The unselfish opening half had both Jesperson and Loxa scoring in double digits. Examples for their younger teammates to follow as Alyssa Raider, Tamara Henshaw, and Alba Prieto added to the first half totals. The sharpshooting Bulls hit 56% before the break, leading the Owls 49-31 at the half. As things heated up, Coach Fernandez showed the national audience why they were nationally Good ranked. Good play drawn up by Fernandez into Ferreira. Atkinson rejected, clean block there by Henshaw. Really nice call by Jose Fernandez, just clearing that right side out. Let her go one-on-one. Bulls -on -one. and pushing is Prieto. Well, the no-look pass to Jesperson, blazing past everybody. Nice job, and, and Prieto with the court vision. Jesperson with the left hand. Back-to-back -back buckets for the senior Jesperson. Jose Fernandez has to like what he's seeing out of his team, shooting over 62% in the quarter. Absolutely. They've come out and they've played with a lot of heart and intensity and just owning the floor. The challenge for almost every successful coach is to teach the value of every possession while also keeping the team's focus on the big picture. Team goals are larger than any single game, and for the program, overall goals are larger than any single season. That's why Coach Fernandez spends as much time with his young Bulls as he does with his experienced leaders. His commitment to four years of development is why so many have gained conference and national honors, as well as entry into the WNBA. So they knew they had to keep working despite starting the half with an 18-point lead. For Ferreira, trying to take Dave straight to the rack. Good speed. Nice job by Ferreira, just able to get to the rim. Ferreira is the last six points for the Bulls, back to a 20-point deficit. good is this team in the American Conference? I think very good, because I think that they're disciplined. I mean, that's a key for any team. They're veteran and they're disciplined, so they know Jose's system really well by this season. Players that have been there, done that. They've gotten acclimated to his style. And so I think that that really, really shows 
how good they are. They work hard, they communicate. There's Jesperson yet again for the Bulls. 20 points for Jesperson. She's getting to the rim at will. Jesperson posted her fifth 20-point game this season against the Owls, and fellow star teammate Kitty Aloxa continued to shine, leading her team with 29 points and six rebounds, as the Bulls maintained their early lead as well as their intensity. Atkinson with the right hand, counted in the foul for the superstar, Aloxa. She'll be a great WNBA player. They, all, they can always use a shooter like her. While there is still fine tuning to be done, it was a solid victory, providing warmth up north before heading home to face arch rival UCF.